So the next strategy we're going to talk about is and demonstrate is emotional freedom technique. It's also referred to as tapping. And that's where you use actual tapping on acupuncture points or acupoints on the meridians, important meridians of the body in order to release the possible emotion that would be coming. So if we have some, if we have a nervousness or a, a negative thought, a memory that gets activated in us and then we can use tapping in to disengage it is the way, one of the many ways we can use tapping. So is there something that you would get nervous about or you have gotten nervous about? Probably a job interview. A job interview, okay. Or thinking about a, going to a job interview. Okay. Or talking to the people you would give a job interview. Uh-huh, all right, good. So I'm gonna ask you to, to imagine that you are on your way to a, a job interview and you're gonna to talk to, to people there. So we're going to kind of activate that nervousness within you a little bit. So how nervous do you feel about that right now? Let's imagine that this afternoon in a few hours you're going to go on a job interview. How, how nervous do you feel about it from a zero to ten? Like a five, a six? If I were to? Yeah. Well, if I were to, I probably would be pretty nervous. I'm you're not too nervous, nervous right now, though. Yeah, okay, you're not too nervous right now. So we'll just imagine that um, this would be something that you could use on your way to, before you go to an interview, or as you're getting nervous about an interview, you could use mm -hmm. this, okay? So we begin by tapping here the karate chop. We call it the karate chop. And we start by saying, you know, even though I'm nervous about a job interview. So go ahead and say that. Even though I'm nervous. Even though I'm nervous about a job interview. Yeah. I love myself just like I am. I love myself just like I am. Uh-huh. Great. So say it another time. Even though I'm a nervous about a job interview. Even though I'm nervous about a job interview, I love myself just like I am. Okay. And one more time. Even though I'm nervous about a job interview, I love myself just like I am. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to tap a few other places in the body. So up here we're going to shorten it and we say, nervous about a job interview. Nervous about a job interview. And then um, here in the eyebrow. Nervous about a job interview. Nervous about a job interview. And here along the side of the eye. Nervous about a job interview. I'm nervous about a job interview. And underneath the eye, nervous about a job interview. Nervous about a job interview. Perfect. And right here, right below the nose, nervous about a job interview. Nervous about a job interview. Nice. And right here, nervous about a job interview. Nervous about a job interview. Nice. And the collarbone, nervous about a job interview. Nervous about a job interview. Perfect. And this one, you're going to go underneath your arm and right over here, like straight under, a little bit further down. Perfect. Right there. Nervous about a job interview. Nervous about a job interview. Kind of right across from the rib cage. Perfect. Okay, nice. All right. Does it sound like something you would feel comfortable doing? Maybe with time, yeah. Maybe with time. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So a quick demonstration of what we just did. Even though I'm nervous about this job interview, I love myself exactly as I am. And then we shorten the, the phrase and we get the essence of what it is that we're either nervous about or worried about, uh, whatever is causing us uh, an emotional upset and we shorten it and that is what we then tap into onto these points so mm, nervous about this job interview nervous about this job interview side of the eye and you can feel the bone there as you're tapping and the eyebrow nervous about this job interview 
right at the ridge there of either eyebrow if you're left-handed and those points it's fine use your left hand and, and do it accordingly and right below the nose I'm nervous about this job interview and then the chin point I'm nervous about this job interview and we have the collarbone right here I'm nervous about this job interview and underneath the arm is here. I'm nervous about this job interview. Then with the individual you will ask them into what degree they now feel the level of anxiety. So as we saw with Luke it was the same because we are demonstrating and he's not on his way to an interview. It can be that you do two or three rounds in order to really bring that level down. The individual saying maybe in the beginning, as Luke indicated, if I really were on a way to a job interview, I might be really stressed. And the individual may say on a zero to 10, I would be, I'm feeling an eight. And then after the first round, Mabby's feeling, she's feeling a three or a five. The goal is to come down to a zero or a one. Wow, the, the anxiety is gone. I'm no longer feeling anxious about this job interview. And we know that when we are not anxious, we're feeling more confident, we, our performance is, is just so much more, I guess, true to our, our real abilities. And that's, um, that's the I ideal, is when we are able uh, to do that. So another suggestion with tapping is that just to use it in a very simple way. And we can start our day like this, and people are, people are finding it very helpful. So you just start your day with a karate chop and maybe a collarbone chop, um, a tap. So you know, today I'm going to have a great day. Today I'm going to have a great day. And just a reminder, you know. So do you want to try that? Today I'm going to have a great day. Today I'm going to have a great day. Okay, and then the, into, the, into the collarbone. Today I'm going to have a great day. Today I'm going to have a great day. Okay, good. Yeah. And just as a reminder, and then maybe your day begins to not be go so great at, that, at any given moment, right? And then you bring yourself back to calm. And you go, no, I'm going to, I can have a great day. I'm going to have a great day. Everything's okay. That's another one. You just say, you know, everything's okay. And try that one. It's like, everything's okay. Everything's okay. It's just like reminding yourself, and then you can just, everything's okay, right here on the collarbone. Everything's okay. Yeah. Those are the kind of the two easiest ones, you know, where you could be sitting at a desk, and if you start getting anxious or worried about something, you remind yourself, you know what, everything's okay. And your hands are underneath your desk, and you're just like this, nobody knows what you're doing, you know, and you just remind yourself, there's nothing to worry about. You think you'll try it? Maybe. Yeah, great. Good.